Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be breaking down the new photos for Episode 3, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So the CW have released the first photos for Episode 3, obviously this is this week's episode, like it's coming out this Tuesday, so of course if there's any sneak peeks or anything, we're going to be covering it before the episode comes out, also remember on the night we're going to be reviewing it as per normal right after the episode and if you missed this week's flash review go check it out it was a couple of days ago but yeah so I'm really excited to talk about these photos because there's a great bunch of photos and there's a lot to theorize about in these photos because there is a few characters and a few moments that you might be like hmm that's very interesting but anyway so let's go over the synopsis first for this episode so it's titled mother and some people have been theorizing what mother means I believe mother means something to do with Eva and her clones I believe she is the mother of these clones and so that is obviously an option however some people have been suggesting that maybe mother means Iris is gonna be pregnant in this episode or something like that but I really don't see that happening because of what happened last episode and you're gonna have the fallout from what Barry did to Iris pulling her out of the mirrorverse without her consent with her saying no I want to stay but he literally just yanks her out so I would say there's absolutely no way on earth that's gonna be in relation to the title mother so I'm sticking for it means something to do with Eva okay so Sue Dearborn returns this is how the synopsis goes as Eva becomes more powerful Barry and the team must find a way to stop her they are shocked when an old friend Sue Dearborn risks her life to help so this is interesting so Sue is back in this episode she's going to play a part we know she's going to be showing up at CCPD at some point. I reckon she's actually going to help Joe. Because we've seen in the trailer Joe gets attacked at one point by one of the mirror clones from any reflective surface like they say throughout the trailer. So yeah, that's what's going to be going on with Sue I believe. However, there could be some extra stuff that's going to set up you know, the next time she comes back. However, Eva is becoming more powerful. Obviously, this means she's going to be getting her army of clones that we've seen from behind the scenes and we've seen from the trailers, actually the promo they released this week, taking over the city. And so it says Barry and the team. So that means that at some point throughout this episode, they're probably going to come together. And well, specifically, Barry's going to be like, I'm sorry. But I think they'll find a way to forgive him because it wasn't really him. It was the artificial speed force messing with his emotions, making him basically into the thinker. And he really wasn't thinking straight. So they're going to be back. They're going to be teaming up. But I do think there is going to be some fallout with Barry and Iris specifically. Also, I think with Cisco as well. And so, just quickly before we go into the photos, yes, this was supposed to be the season six finale. So you're going to see one big final showdown, and you're going to see that on the streets of Central City, and they're going to somehow get through to Eva. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the photos. So we got this first photo. This is really cool. We actually get to see Caitlyn in the Killer Frost suit. Now, now that is very exciting because we never normally see that. We always see Killer Frost in. The suit whereas we never see Caitlyn there so I reckon sometimes she wakes up and she's got the suit on so it's nice to see them acknowledging it I don't know the context as to what's going on here however Cisco is talking and it seems like Caitlyn's listening and in the background you got a screen and there is some sort of red mark on the screen so I reckon that is like where Eva is or some sort of target well maybe like her whole army I guess but I reckon he's talking to Barry and Iris right here let's move on to the next photo we got Joe and Cecile here Cecile hasn't been doing that much over the last few episodes so I guess she's got something to do at CCPD seems like Joe has gotten out of CCPD because I don't think this is inside the building however there's a chance that this could be just outside and they are definitely getting attacked because their faces scream oh there is trouble okay so let's move on back in star labs looks like we're gonna see them interacting with iris for the first time so you got chester and i think he's working on something on the tablet so maybe he's like monitoring iris so the team is back up they're not knocked out anymore because that's how they were left off last episode after they faced off against barry so you got caitlin here you got allegra and you got cisco and so it does seem like they're seeing iris 
and we move on to Iris and Barry and Iris is still in a bad state and Barry looks really worried so he's realized what he's done by yanking her out of the mirrorverse and he knows he made a stupid decision he didn't have any backup he wasn't even thinking straight and maybe it's gonna have some sort of major side effect on Iris and so yeah we've seen this shot in the trailer but this is just a really good photo and Barry is very very scared and I think he's definitely regretting what he has done Okay, so let's move on to the second to last photo. You got this really nice photo out here on the streets of Central City. In the background, it's very pink. They've lit up the street and I thought that was very cool. Just a nice effect, I guess. And so this is during the final battle scene against Eva. And it seems like Barry and Iris somehow get through to Eva. I think Iris is going to have a big part to play in stopping Eva because she's the only one that can get through to her, I think, because she is in a similar situation where she's been in the Mirrorverse all this time, and I don't think they're going to beat Eva by fighting Eva. I think they're going to beat Eva by somehow getting through to her. And I think Iris is going to have a big part to play in this, and also this photo suggests that yes, Iris is fine, and she is back out on the street. She doesn't need to be in that bed that we saw in the last photo. So yeah, she's going to make it out, although I think there is going to be a lot of tension, and uh, there's going to be a lot of talks from the next few episodes onwards with Barry and Iris because of Barry's decisions. Okay, so the last photo is the most exciting photo because you've got the original Harrison Wells who was revealed at the end of the last episode as being alive and he is meeting Barry Allen for the first time. Now, this is very exciting. Now, how does he meet Barry, right? Barry's not actively looking for the original Harrison Wells. He doesn't know he's back and he's actually never met him if you remember correctly. And as far as we can tell, the original Harrison Wells literally doesn't know where he is. I mean, he's missed like 20 years of his life. And so he turns up, he's like, what the hell, I'm alive. So he goes to the one place that he recognizes and that is Star Labs because remember he was building it. And actually, and this is a very interesting theory, he was actually supposed to create the original particle accelerator in 2020. Now this is where a theory comes in. So we know that Barry's going to get his speed force powers back somehow and it's not going to be through another artificial speed force. So how did Barry get powers the first time? Oh wait, Harrison Wells created the particle accelerator explosion and that's how he got his powers and this version of Harrison Wells in the original timeline would have created the flash and would have created that original particle accelerator explosion that caused Barry to get his powers. So the theory is this, he comes back, Barry's like, oh my god, it's the original Harrison Wells, I'm meeting him for the first time, and then he's like, I need my powers back, and obviously he's been meaning to create the particle accelerator, so I don't see why it's not a good theory to say that maybe he does in fact recreate it, Although one episode obviously is quite a big ask to create an entire particle accelerator, I contest that maybe by the end of the episode he makes it work and then Barry is given his powers back and that would have been like one of the big cliffhangers for the end of the season. However, we're probably going to get that cliffhanger, but we're not going to have that long wait. We're literally going to wait a week and we're going to get the new episode of The Flash. So obviously that's super exciting because we're going to see the outcome very, very soon. So yeah, it's super exciting that the original Harrison Wells is meeting Barry for the first time, as you can see in this photo. It's probably in Star Labs because this is probably the place that original Harrison Wells is going to go to straight away because he was going to create it. And he's like, oh, my creation has been made. And he's going to get like an update as to what went on, why he died. It was a reverse flash and basically what happened in this version of the timeline because obviously he died, like he died over I think 20 years ago in the 90s and that was obviously at the hands of Reverse Flash and I think he's going to be getting used to, you know, what's going on in the present day. So I'm really excited about all of that. What do you think about my 2020 particle accelerator explosion theory? Also, it must be noted and some of you guys pointed out in my live stream yesterday that The Flash is currently still in 2020. Because episode 1 of this season and episode 2 this season, there wasn't a big time gap. It literally continued from where it was last year and they haven't jumped forward like they normally would to the present day in real life, where right now it is 2021. So it's not like Superman Lois because I believe Superman Lois is supposed to be currently as we are running right now. So I think Superman Lois is set in 2021 and all of the events so far in The Flash season 7, these first three episodes at least, are set in 2020 so the kind of prophecy of him creating the particle accelerator 
could still come to fruition because it is still 2020 in the world of the Flash TV show. So I guess the question going into episode 4 is, are we going to jump forward to 2021? Is there going to be a bit of a time gap because this was originally supposed to be the finale and episode 4 was supposed to be the episode 1 premiere of season 7? But we'll have to wait and see. So there's a lot of exciting stuff happening and I've got one more thing to go over before we end this video. They just released a new synopsis for The Flash Season 7 Episode 5 and I wanted to go over it whilst we are doing this big kind of promotional video where we're talking about all of the recent released information for The Flash. So this is for the episode titled Fear Me. This is coming out March 30th and this is episode 5. So this is how the synopsis goes. Psyche attacks Central City. When a powerful new villain, Psyche, channels and amplifies everyone's fears in order to wreak havoc on Central City, Barry realizes with Cecile's help that he must face his own worst fear in order to beat this new threat. Meanwhile, Joe is surprised when Kristen Kramer from the Governor's Municipal Logistics Commission drops into the CCPD for a visit. Iris wants her father to dig deeper into why Kristen is actually there. Caitlin and Frost argue about how to live their lives. So now that is a very wordy synopsis. That is a lot to go through. So obviously this is the start of the season. So I don't think it's going to be anything that major. It's kind of about setting up stuff. So you have this Kristen character who is going to be, I think, part of the story that Joe's going to have this season. As the way they put it, it seems like it's going to be very much CCPD related. So obviously Barry might get involved with that a bit. Iris also is involved in this because she suggests digging deeper into why she's actually there. I don't know what, you know, her specific role means. Like, I don't know, logistics commission it doesn't mean much to me. I don't know if you guys have a better idea. However, it's just some person watching over what Joe is doing at the CCPD. So, Caitlin and Frost argue about how to live their lives. We know at some point Caitlin's going to get arrested, and it seems like they're going to get into some sort of trouble very, very soon between those two characters. And so, the big thing of this episode, a new villain who is just a villain of the week. However, he will return sometime later in the season, but I don't believe it's going to be the same actor, so that second appearance might be a bit smaller. However, this character is Psyche, and Psyche is a character from the comics, and so he's faced off against the Flash before. And so this new villain is played by a guy from Blindspot, a TV show on NBC, and his name is Ennis Esmer. So maybe a couple of you guys know him. So he's going to be channeling his powers, and he's going to be wreaking havoc by using fear. And so we saw some photos a while ago of him, and he has some sort of mask on. And he basically channels into Barry's greatest fears. And it seems like he creates nightmares in Barry's mind. So that's what's happening. And he's going to be manipulating the people of Central City. And Barry's going to have to stop him. And he's also going to get Cecile's help. And I mean, that kind of makes sense. And it kind of gives Cecile a thing to do in this episode. So I'm looking forward to all of this. I'm specifically really looking forward to seeing the original Harrison Wells next week on Tuesday. This Tuesday. Super excited to break it down and do my review for it. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. Also remember, we upload daily, so look around and stay tuned. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.